Let's look back at how it all happened then. Lucas Dunner would lead us from pole position to the left-hand side of screen. Yiffy Ye to the right as they charge down towards turn number one for the first time. Yiffy Ye sort of slotting into second place there as we came out of that source for the first time. A basket. There was some side-by-side -side action down towards Eau Rouge as you will see. Benjamin Pedersen to the right of screen. Andreas Esler to the left as they go into Eau Rouge. Andreas Esler slotting into fourth. Like Nicholas Cruton who was in third. This was a Maloney, he was making places and making good time. That was him going past Andreas Esner, and next would be his teammate Ido Cohen. Battles for the lead though, the two leaders did swap places. Lucas Dunham would retake the lead, and this is when he did it. He was ahead going into Lake had to cut across to a position gained for him but Yiffy Yi would take it back when he was given the place back by Lucas Dunnell who gave that place back and left himself in a good position to challenge once again as they went down towards Lake Coop that didn't quite get enough of a toe coming over the slipstream and he wouldn't be able to get past Yiffy Yi. Yiffy Yi was close at the end, very close but he could just about do enough coming out of the final corner and it would be Yiffy Yi on the top step of the podium for the seventh time this season.